Hi, I'm Hazel from Talkie Library and I'm going to show you how to make footprint animals just like these. So to make your footprint animals you either might need to put your foot in some paint and put it onto the paper like that which could be a little bit difficult because if you're going to get footprints all over the house it's not going to go down, round, down very well with the adults or you could just have somebody draw around your foot for you or draw around somebody else's foot. Now I've got really really big feet and it would take me too long to colour in with those so I have got this which believe it or not is something that you put in the laundry to put your socks in to make sure that they stay in a pair but I've never used it so shh. There we go. I'm going to draw around the foot like this. Now once we've made all of these we're going to cut them out so it doesn't matter when you colour it in if we go over the lines or not. What we do is we do a nose like this and then he's going to need eyes and I'm really not very good with eyes but there we go there's our eyes and he's going to have a bit going down the middle like this and this is what I mean when I say it doesn't matter if you make mistakes because especially with zebra because he's all one colour you can correct your mistakes quite easily There we go, that's our zebra nose just coming in now. And zebras have got lots and lots of stripes. So we're going to put some stripes on the zebra. And I don't know if you know, all zebras have different stripes and that's how you can tell them apart. So if you're in, on a safari and they can suddenly name one of the zebras, like how do they do that? Or if you're at the zoo, it's because all the zebras have different stripes just like humans have different fingerprints. So, there we go. Put some stripes on him very, very quickly just to show. You don't have to be all the same on both sides. You can have a different number of stripes. And zebras have a mane, so we have a nice little tufty bit. Like that, in the middle. And then once you're done, you can cut your zebra out and put him with any other animals that you've made. So there he is. There's my zebra. There's one I've made, already made and cut out. Oh, I missed the ears. You can put ears on him as well like this. There we go, zebra. But I've also made a giraffe. Like that. He's got these two little bits at the top. So I think what other animals you can make, you can make an elephant and do a nice long trunk down here, you can do, oh, what a, oh, you can turn that one over and do the elephant like that way and do the big ears as well. You could do, oh, what should we say, monkeys, gorillas, try to think of all the animals that we've got to paint and do. Tigers, lions, you can do all sorts of things. But there you go, that's how you do footprint animals.